Have you ever seen a meme and gone, huh, this kind of looks like a 10 year old made it. It doesn't make any sense. First off, get off of iFunny and get a real meme source for your dank memes. And secondly, that might not be what's happening. You might have bumped into a meme that unfortunately drank some bone hurting juice. 10 months ago, I uploaded a video on bone hurting juice titled The Wrong Way to Use a Meme. And while I do think 10 month ago Sumeto did a good job taking a cursory surface level glance, I don't think I did a good enough job differentiating the two. You see, here we are nearly a year later and people can't exactly tell what is an anti-meme and what is bone hurting juice. Is it just nonsense? Is it just a 10 year old making a meme? Is it an anti-anti-meme? It's a little more complicated than that, but I'll show you the nuances on today's episode of whatever this is called. So to start this off, I'm gonna do my best to try and explain what bone hurting juice is, but I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a little bit complicated. Bone hurting juice is a category of memes that are almost self-aware. Okay, so you've got memes and then you've got like a meme culture, right? You make a bunch of memes about the same thing and they all sort of have the same nuances, the same traits. They kind of all get made the same way or they have the same vocabulary, something like that, right? And then sometimes you'll get memes that actually make fun of those first memes. Like, can you believe everybody who watches Game of Thrones makes memes like this and stuff like that? Bone hurting juice is when you take a meme that's been established, you understand how it works, it has a meta template that most people can go, oh, this is how this meme works, and then makes fun of that template. Not the original meme, but how the meme operates. Uh, let me show you an example. This meme here is the Lisa presenting meme, or Lisa Simpson's presentation on knowyourmeme.com. It's a popular one. I'm sure you've seen this meme before. If you haven't, How'd you even get here? Brush up on your memes and watch more of my videos. The subscribe button's down below. This meme has been all over Reddit. In fact, it got redrawn as one of the Article 13 memes because people were using it so frequently. It's pretty straightforward. Lisa Simpson presents something behind her. Typically, it's a slightly controversial opinion that the poster wanted to put into the internet and see how other people want to react to it. It's got different forms. In addition to the Article 13 one, there's this version with a husky. Uh, we should use this template as the new presentation template because dogs are cute or whatever. Uh, there's one with a kid in front of a projector. There's one with Spider-Man. I think people are doing a Bernie Sanders one. The now that's a fact meme with PewDiePie is essentially also a variation of this. It's him pointing at something that's, you know, typically got some text on it. This is the bone hurting juice version. What? Where's the slightly controversial opinion I'm supposed to either agree with or disagree with? What is she presenting to me? You see, this doesn't use the original template. It makes fun of the original template. Oh, it's Lisa Simpson giving a presentation? Wouldn't it be funny if the presentation she was giving was an empty new PowerPoint presentation that's got nothing on it? Ha ha, could somebody turn off the spotlight? It's making the PowerPoint a little hard to read. Guys, do you not get how this meme works? You're taking it too literally. You're not supposed to bring it into the real world and point out its nuanced flaws. You're supposed to just use it. You're missing the joke. No, that is the joke. It's not that I don't understand the meme. It's that I understand it too well. And by only making it self-aware, do I find humor in it anymore because I'm an edgy millennial. Here's a short rundown. This is a normal meme. Firefighter jumps in. Pedo should be legal. Firefighter looks distraught. Yeah, she was already dead when I found her. That's how it works. This next version is an anti-meme. It says situations that apply to real life, but I just think it's anything that kind of makes fun of the joke, okay? Fear not, lady, I'll save you. She's actually already dead. He comes back out. Yeah, she was already dead when I found her. Okay, that's an anti-meme. It's just like an anti-joke. It ends in a less than funny way. Then there's bone hurting juice. Uh, fear not, lady, I'll save you. Thank you for saving me, brave firefighter, but there are some dangerous people looking for me and they think I'm dead. So leave me alone. Tell the cops that I was dead when you found me. Uh, yeah, she was already dead when I found her. Is it an anti-meme? Yeah, but it's more specific than that. It's also stupid. 
The zoom of binoculars is way too high for this short distance. Is the second frame going to be way too zoomed? The second frame is way too zoomed in. God damn it. Let's summon that squid demon that warps reality. Ooh. <laughs> is the squid demon also a furry? What is this? Not every bone hurting juice meme has to be something that makes fun of the template of the meme, but I do think it's the easiest one to understand, and it's personally one of my favorites because I just love people being cynical for no reason, I guess. Dear Batman, I came in your mask. Regards, Robin. <laughs> what? What is this? Want me to order you anything? Nah, I'm good. I got garlic bread. See, th this doesn't even feel like a meme. I've had this conversation in real life before. This is an answer that a gentleman on Reddit gave a year ago to somebody asking just what the oof is r slash bone hurting juice. And he says that it's deliberately wrong done memes. Their wiki advises, imagine you're making your post from the viewpoint of a 10 year old who doesn't understand what memes are because they take a meme and they add a deliberately obtuse reception of it. And while I do think this is where bone hurting juice started, this definitely is not where we ended up. Urban Dictionary defines bone hurting juice as juice that hurts your bones, which is about as useful as a scientific calculator trying to give you a fraction. Uh, the second definition is CBD oil, usually in vape juice form, which is just not correct. Nobody calls that bone hurting juice. Yo dog, I'm totally out of e-liquid for my jewel pen. You got a pot I could spare, bro? Yeah, man. You want mango or bone hurting juice? Now, like I mentioned before, making fun of the template is not the only flavor in which you can get bone hurting juice. There are other versions. Uh, much like how we brought the Lisa presenting meme into the real world, uh, there are bone hurting juice examples that do that, but actually try to make it work. If that makes sense, let me just show you. Man, woman, young, old, black, poor, people that didn't get decapitated. Ah, that explains why there are all these skeletons here. Totally didn't ruin the joke. Hey man, you got a problem? These papers are all glued to my suit. Oh, no problem, man. Let me help you remove those. Oh, the firefighters are about to break the door. Wait a second. Axes don't put out fires. Go get different tools. Ah, yes. They're not leaving somebody to burn alive. They're going back to get something that can put out the fire. Uh, maybe those extinguishers on their backs. No, I'm not a firefighter. I don't know. Oh gosh, I am really scared of large pieces of cheese. I really hope I don't see any large pieces of cheese or I will scream in fear. Capital A, capital A, capital A. Oh, look at that. It's a large piece of cheese. Why else would he be screaming in fear? How convenient. It's way faster that way. Yes, of course. Why don't they just put two Cokes next to each other? That way I don't need to stand there for eight seconds. The hair dryer in the locker room is broken, so I'm gonna breathe hot air on your hair to dry it. <sighs> Thank you. That's, that's what this is. Hey man, my dad's here to pick me up. My dad's a bird, by the way. See you tomorrow. Uh, all right, all right, man, see ya. This, this is normal. Why is it that you have eyebrows and I don't? Uh, try squinting really hard? Ah, yes. Thank you. When you're some ugly looking pimples all over your face and you're able to hide most of them by dressing up as Batman, but there are still some on both of your cheeks, so you act like you're thinking about something when in reality, you're using your fingers to hide them. Yes. That is what I think when I see this image. Exactly that. Last but not least, there are the more advanced bone hurting juice memes. And I know what you're thinking, Sumeto, this has already been a roller coaster ride of emotions. You're telling me they get even more complicated? Yes and no. Some of these are still just making fun of the template, but in a more convoluted way. Some of them just make their own story in the meme using the panels of the comic or whatever they're doing. As always, let me just show you the examples. Haha, -ha, now you have to hold that sword forever. A heavy sword. No, please. It's heavy. I can't hold it forever. I'm gonna touch this electric fence. Ow, this fence is shocking me. That's exactly what happened here. The hind legs of a human centaur, the front legs of a human centaur, body soap. Makes sense. Could it be the sword of lies? I am the sword of lies. But wait, that's a paradox. If you really are the sword of lies, then that means that was the truth. So are you a sword of paradoxes? I'm just a normal sword. I can't talk. Oh, right. I have schizophrenia. Wow, that was, <laughs> that was a whole thing. Oh, no, I accidentally threw out my favorite black shirt. Found it. Good job. Excellent Photoshop on the before and after. That, I'm totally convinced. 
most people rejected his message. Shut up! Jesus hated them. <laughs> That's not what Jesus would do. Golly, I sure hope this stuff works. Chin shrinking powder. That's what you need, Plastic Man. The meaning of life? Like 200 wasps. <laughs> okay, I mean, I get why there's not a line in front of it. Hey, sorry if I'm screaming and crying while talking to you. It's a medical condition. How's your salad? Hey, no worries. My salad is quite nice. Thanks. What? I don't want to be a normal duck. I want to be a goth duck. Hell yeah. Let's get you cleaned up, little guy. Nah, duck you. Dad, can you please plug the TV back in? SpongeBob's on. Yes, of course. That's my favorite show. Let's uh, Yeah, he's plugging it in. Let's let's just tell ourselves that. Well, I told myself I was going to make this a shorter, easier to make episode, and instead I ended up looking at memes for the better part of 39 hours, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you guys want to see videos like these every week, remember to hit the subscribe button and tick that bell notifications, because I do exactly that. I'm going to be at VidCon next week, so if you're in the LA area, come up and punch me in the stomach. I'm down, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.